Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Ocean Amandisha of Christian Work Ministries. Today I'm continuing with our subject, Demonology. This is session two. Session one, you can find it under my YouTube channel. You can find the link under this MP4 teaching. Let me recap from where I left last time. If you recall, I showed you that when God created the heaven and earth, God separated darkness from light. And I was giving you an example that since that time, darkness and light coexist in the sense that there's a circle of light and darkness. My point was trying to say, as long as the earth exists, we are going to live in a circle of darkness and light. And I want, I equated this to say, as long as Jesus Christ tarries, we are going to face friction of darkness and light in the sense of evil and good. Therefore, we must understand why we are in this battle where good and evil are always in constant friction. And we have stressed that most of the people, many people rather, or some people rather, they are struggling because they are fighting with evil spirits. This is the reality we have even though others do not want to believe this fact. If you are a minister of the gospel or a Christian, you agree with me that most of the things which people suffer from as they go to churches and they seek help, you find out that one of them is evil spirits that are oppressed, that are suffering from oppression and from attacks from different um, forces of darkness or evil spirits. In other words, demons. But few can really answer or know what are these demons. Because most of the people, they just know demons as evil spirits. But as Christians, as believers, the Bible says we must not be ignorant about the devices of the devil or the enemy. So it is very important for us to understand and to know why so much? Why this battle we are fighting with? Who are these demons? This is what we are trying to trace so that when we have this knowledge, it will help us to understand what to do and what the Bible says. But we cannot just explain demons from a surface. We need to trace where these demons came from. Because some of the questions that people are still asking, they are asking, who created these demons? Someone asked me that question. And they said, for how long have these demons been in existence? Because why are they not finished as people are being prayed for and they are being cast away? Now, you need also to understand that that only tells us, those questions only tells us that people have questions and they also need to understand who is controlling these evil spirits and what is their agenda. And many people wonder, as much as we know that there is witchcraft, and this witchcraft also works with evil spirits. And these evil spirits are demons. And people may not be able to separate between what they call evil spirits and demons. They can also have their own imagination, their own definition to say evil spirits are the spirits of those people who are dead or who the, the dead ancestors. There are some people who say so. But is it true that the dead ancestors are demons? So who are these demons? Because without clarifying this, we will have a lot of confusion and people will fight with an enemy they don't know. The reason why we are not winning this battle, especially the oppression, the demon possession, is because people have different theories and people seek help from different quarters 
as they try to seek this help, they are also going to the same forces, to the same demons, or to the people who also use demons in trying to cure them. So without knowledge, people continue to perish and will die without understanding what they are fighting with. If you can uh, agree with me, you see that what I'm trying to present is true, even though natural. No army, no country can go to battle without trying to assess and to know the enemy they are fighting with. As much as they may not know every detail, but they will try to understand and to know the type of the enemy they are fighting with so that they can use or execute the exact exercise they may want to achieve as far as this battle or their battle is concerned with the enemy. So we are here to try to expose and to show you the kind of the enemy we are fighting with. But this is something that we cannot just uh, talk or we can discuss in a one day thing. So today I just want to build up from where we left. And I want you to know that from the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and everything was perfect. I showed you that God is perfect. He does not create imperfect things. But if you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, you realize that the Bible also talks about the void and emptiness where the Spirit of the Lord was hovering upon the face of the deep or up, upon the face of the waters. So, what caused this voidness and formless? You must understand that this earth existed for a long time. It is us who just believe that maybe it's only a few millions of years, but it has been in existence for quite a long time. You must also understand that Jesus, before he came, these demons were not manifesting, but they were there, they were in existence for a long time. But what happened between Genesis 1 and verse 2 is something that most believers, those who believe, in the Bible, those who study the Bible, those who uh, dig deep believe that between verse 1 and verse 2 is where the devil, Lucifer, was cast away from heaven. And due to that, he has caused this voidness and formless because there was a battle between Michael and this archangel, Lucifer. And we are going to trace Lucifer because Lucifer is one of the architects of evil and sin. Before men sinned, the devil came into play and deceived people. So he has been there for a long time. So we need to understand that when he was cast with other angels, he saw that God had created another being whom he had given dominion and authority on earth. Yet on the very same earth, he had an opportunity to walk and to move up and down here on earth, according to the scripture. You need to understand that the Eden that we read, the Eden that we hear from Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, where Adam was living, what has been there has been in existence. When God created the heaven and earth, according to the Bible, he was just remolding what was there before the fall of men or before the fall of Lucifer. But Lucifer had a chance to move up and down here on earth, according to the scripture. To prove that this... Uh, this event happened and this is true according to Ezekiel chapter 28. We can read the scripture and we can see that Lucifer has been there in the garden. The Bible says, verse 18, Ezekiel chapter 28, you were in, in, you were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The workmanship of your tambors and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. Verse 14. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you 
you were on the whole mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fairy stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created until iniquity was found in you. If you read this scripture, you realize that it was talking about Lucifer. It was talking about the devil himself, although this verse was addressing to people. But when you match the description of what the Bible is talking about, it matches with Lucifer because he was the anointed cherub. No man can be an anointed cherub. So it's only Lucifer. And verse 13 tells us that you were in the garden. This was before Adam and Eve were created. So I'm just giving you this background to understand where we are coming from and where we, we are going and to know and to realize the vendetta between Lucifer and, and men. Because when Lucifer saw that God created men and he put him in the garden where he had a chance to walk up and down before he fell, he came to fight the men. So you must understand when we are tracing these demons, it's something that we need to trace from the beginning before we uncover where these demons, the actual demons that are oppressing, that are fighting people. So this is what we are trying to expose and I would like you to walk with me, to follow me until we manage to expose this enemy, until we put bare and clear who these demons are. So this is session two. I would like you to follow and also connect with session three when I come back and continue from where I left. God bless you for taking your time to listen to this small teaching or short teaching. Shalom.